Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. On July the 1st, 2018, it was reported that a huge 30-ton sarcophagus was found below a building in Alexandria in Egypt. Inspection of the sarcophagus revealed that it is made of black granite, 265 centimeters in length or 8 feet 7 inches, and 185 centimeters in width or around 6 feet. The security forces coordinated with the engineering department of the armed forces, as well as the tourism police, to extract the sarcophagus. Ayman Ashmori, head of the Ancient Egyptian Antiquities Sector, said that the tomb was found at a depth of 5 metres below the surface of the land. It was also noted that there was a layer of mortar between the lid and the body of the sarcophagus, indicating that it had not been opened since it was closed in antiquity which is quite a tantalising prospect. It was found during an excavation in the Sidi Gaba district of Alexandria, as a team was inspecting a residence land ahead of digs planned for the foundations of a new building. It is the largest granite sarcophagus ever found in Alexandria, and it was found close to an alabaster stone head, which experts are saying was a depiction of the man who owned the tomb, an assumption that at present is of course unsubstantiated. Even though the coffin is unopened, we are told that it dates back to the later Ptolemaic period of Egyptian history, around 332 to 30 BC. And it is hard to argue too much with this Ptolemaic date, because it is almost identical in shape and size to the stone sarcophagus of Weishnefer. Although of course, the new example from Alexandria does lack the inscriptions and carvings. This isn't unusual though, as the pitting on the sarcophagus looks to be the byproduct of chemical or acid erosion, which could have removed the inscriptions which on the sarcophagus of Wishnefer are very fine. Wishnefer was a priest of the goddess Mut, Nephthys, Sekhmet, Neith and Satis, and although his offices were in temples from Aswan to Coptus in Upper Egypt, his tomb from which this unusually large sarcophagus comes from was in the northern Egyptian necropolis of Saqqara. So who might be inside the new coffin discovery? Evidence suggests it is somebody from the Ptolemaic era, and the alabaster head certainly looks Greco-Roman in style. And due to the similarities between this and the example containing the priest, Wishnefer, we could well be looking at another Ptolemaic priest. But as the alabaster head and the sarcophagus are so different in style, you could also argue that the coffin has been reused during the Ptolemaic era which was also probably the case for Wishnefer, as the carvings on the side of his stone tomb are actually quite similar to the carvings on the large stone boxes in the Serapium of Saqqara, relatively fine, almost like they are scratched onto the surface of an older structure. Nobody doubts the fact that the carvings on the stone boxes in the Serapium are much later than the age of the boxes, therefore it isn't impossible for Wishnefer's tomb either. In fact, both the new discovery and the sarcophagus of Wishnefer bear a striking resemblance to the stone boxes in the Serapium of Saqqara. These boxes, believed to have been built for mummified bulls, are said to date back to 1350 BC and are objects that have mystified Egyptologists and alternative ancient historians for millennia. Many believe they are far older though, due to the nature and quality of the stonework. So, the new sarcophagus found in Alexandria could have been built during the Ptolemaic era. It could also be older and reused during the Ptolemaic era, or there is a possibility that the contents of this stone sarcophagus are not actually Ptolemaic at all, but could be far older, and the lack of inscriptions on the lid could be because they were never there in the first place. But we are told that Alexandrian history began in 332 BC, and Egyptologists use this as evidence to say that the new stone sarcophagus cannot be any older. But as geoarchaeologist Jean Anthony Stanley showed in his paper in 2017, there is direct evidence for settlements in Alexandria around 1000 BC. Geochemical analysis in Alexandria, conducted by Alan J. Veron and published in 2013, proved the existence of copper-based relics in the region during the pre- and early dynastic periods, extending back to around 4000 BC. His paper concludes with this statement. Sediments constitute the first evidence of metal ore on the western margin of the Nile Delta during the pre-dynastic period at 3800 to 3500 BC through to the early dynastic and old kingdom at 2900 to 2300 BC, suggesting human settlements and potential copper ore trading in Alexandria more than 3000 years prior to Alexander the Great. 
so, scientists have proven that Alexandria was populated and was a likely trading port way back in prehistory, which would have made it a strategic and important location in Egypt. Therefore, an ancient pre-dynastic or early dynastic sarcophagus found in Alexandria isn't actually that much of a stretch of the imagination. It actually makes sense, especially if it was an important trading port. The hole in the ground where the sarcophagus is found is being dubbed a tomb, consisting of just two items, a megalithic granite coffin and an eroded alabaster head. The head looks like it is certainly Greco-Roman, nobody could argue that, but at this time the sarcophagus could be any age. Of course, in the media, the so-called experts are already telling us that the sarcophagus is definitely Ptolemaic. I just think that at present, until it is opened, this is open to discussion. As Graham Hancock keeps tweeting, stuff keeps on getting older. And this Alexandrian sarcophagus could be another example. But until it is opened, nobody can really know for sure. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.